Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we are recording, see what is it, Tuesday, October 29th. We just got back from, or at least I did, uh, back from, from TFCon. So. I, I also did. I saw you there. Yeah, that's that's true. So. We just got back from Joplin Collectors <laughs> Convention. Yeah, some of us got back from conventions that were a little bit closer than halfway across the country so you might have uh sean you might have actually picked up more uh more stuff than i did though i probably did as far as number of stuff probably i mean i mean this was three dollars yeah so, so did you uh, need a g1 blot mm-hmm. okay Cool. Two dollars. Can't see it. Oh, that's cool. And uh, we uh, we decided tonight uh, that uh, we, we would have a not our normal cast. So uh, Anna is not with us tonight. Um, so we decided to decided to bring in a, a special guest, uh, Sean. So hey, Sean, it's been a little bit. Yeah. So, and then Christian, of course. What's that? And uh, and myself, Lucas here. Hello, so, myself. so on the the way down to TFCon, uh, we stopped into a couple Walgreens, and uh, and on the way, because we heard that there was a figure coming out that was exclusive to Walgreens, and uh, we managed to find it. So that is the Siege Siege Ratchet. Pew. So, so yeah, so so we managed to to pick them up, and uh, I, I managed to get one for Christian and uh, for myself, and uh, Anna did not partake unfortunately because I guess that something like that siege isn't that great or something I don't know. So I think she already has the mold I think with Ironhide, so she she tries to only collect one per mold. So Ratchet yeah. superior mold though. That that is true. Mm-hmm. I mean, the flaps don't fall off whenever you transform it. Yeah, uh, mine do actually. Really? Oh, mine do. Uh, my iron hide did not. My ratchets do. Oh. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, hey Mike, how's it going? Mike's in the chat. What's up, Mike? Mike Carroll. Hey, I saw Mike. So yeah, Mike Mike uh, was with you at, at uh, Joplin Collectors Con too, right? Yeah, he was. We we had a good yeah. time. So there you go. Yeah, Richard uh, was with us at uh, at TFCon. So it was a few of us. We kind of, you know, s- split ourselves up. I did miss Richard's zaniness. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. So no, it, we were uh, we were hitting up every Walgreens on the way. We also hit up some Walmart. So I also got the uh, the new. Optimus Prime too, but I haven't had a chance to open them up yet. Um, so I got to hold those very figures, and I'm very com- comfortable with my decision not to buy them. I, I'm glad you got them. I, I don't need them at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind. I'm in it to win it, I guess. Um, I I really like the Optimus a lot. I think I will once I open it up. Like the Optimus, the cell shaded one better than the other one, but I still don't like the Megatron as much. Like, it's 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 fine. But somehow, apparently, now I have two of the mold. Well, no, I actually have three of the mold, because I have the G2 one, too. So, what I, what oh, I actually Megatron. need to Not that do, you meant Optimus. I was like... The Megatron, 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 yeah. Um, what I actually need to do is, is I need to uh, take one of those G2 Megatrons and give, give it to Sean and have him make me a uh, IDW Minor Megatron out of the mold customize it yeah just like that rung that we're still waiting on right <laughs> hey you know what customizing takes a while so I, uh, I feel like every commission that i've ever had done from somebody like takes usually takes a year uh to do like i've had other other people like where i've commissioned something and it's it's taken a while so i i understand it's a labor of love yeah my problem is i've been 
out of commission for a while as far as moving and trying to get settled. Yeah, Surge still owes me a commission from three years ago, four years ago. When did Victorian come out? Oof. I That's traded him a Victorian for this commission. Mm. One day. So, <clears throat> so anyway, so I guess back to Ratchet. Um, so ratchet. Christian, you said that your ratchet, that the tabs are, your leg tabs are falling off. Mine are not. Yeah, this one is pretty fine. This one just comes right off. Huh. You can also do that mod that, well, not the mod, but the fix that everybody else had to do to their iron hides. And yeah. what was that fix? So I can just go ahead and do it. You just got to waller out that hole in the leg. Because the hole is not all the way around. What with it? So, waller. Yeah, waller. So, like, the the hole, like, inside of Ratchet, I don't know if you can see it, like, on the leg here, um, hey, like, it should have a little bit of mold flash on it. And you just need to go in and take, like, a screwdriver or something like that and kind <clears> of <throat> make sure that that's all taken out. Make that sure was the, the hole is actually circular and open. Yeah. That was the issue with Ironhide, at least. Oh, yeah. I've, okay. heard, I'll take I've heard that uh, the old, the, uh, I, I don't know if, like, uh, Ironhides that came out later, if they still had the issue, like, or if it was just the newer one. Or um, the older one, I mean. Because I think mine was, uh, my Ironhide was one of the first ones, so. But, but yeah, I guess, Sean, uh, did you get yours in Kansas City? Your ratchet? Uh, um, I got mine down in Joplin. I went, uh, on my way down, I stopped at, like, all the jo or all the Walgreens in Joplin on that Saturday. And I was on the very last one. I think it was, like, the fifth or sixth Walgreens. And I lost all hope. And I walked in there, and they had a, a full case sitting out. So I grabbed me one and one for a friend, and I let Mike know. Mike, did you grab one? Did you were you able to get one after the convention? But uh, yeah, I let him know where they were at, so he wouldn't have to hunt around for an hour. Yeah. No, that um, I think they actually just put them up online too. I know I've seen the link go mm -hmm. uh, shared online in a couple different spots where. Yep. Uh, so, so that way you don't have to, you know, hunt at a thousand Walgreens and be disappointed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it sounds like that uh, they're being more widely distributed than in years past, at least. Like, I don't know. I I feel like in, in other years that, you know, even if you hunted at a bunch of Walgreens, you may not find it. But I've heard of I think like it's, it's moving uh, out quicker than before. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. It's Definitely like, quicker. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh what was it, uh, Brainstorm, he came out like right there as soon as TFCon was in Ch was it 2016 Chicago. Yeah, like, they all come out like that weekend, the same week at TFCon. Yeah. But they don't always make it everywhere. Like, I'm used to getting mine the week of Thanksgiving because that's just when they make it to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Rekar early because I was in Chicago when it came out, and they came out in Chicago first last year. Uh, Brainstorm and the clones, I got Thanksgiving. So I was expecting this one for a couple weeks. So it was nice that uh, Lucas and Nana found one for me. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we found ours like in Pennsylvania. Um, but I mean, they've been in the Midwest and they've been in, you know, Chicago and all that. So it sounds like that they're, you know, kind of been hitting all over the place. But so, um, but yeah, no. Do uh, we like him? Oh, man. Like, I... I really like this ratchet a lot. I think that he's a really great repaint. Um, the thing I was kind of worried about was, is that it's a lot of white, you know, like with the, uh, the waist and everything. And so I was kind of mm -hmm. concerned in hand that I wouldn't like it. Um, but I, I like it a lot. I think that the deco works. Um, I'm, I'm just really impressed by him. I did notice he's missing his red crosses. He can't have those. 
You don't I know. know. But uh, you can get a certain sticker set and make it look really cool. He can have, he can have a red a red head. Oh, is that included? I didn't even look because, again, I wasn't yeah. planning on having this toy. Uh, so. I'm assuming Repro Labels, Toy Hacks will, will have them. Yeah. So. The only thing I don't like so far is in vehicle mode, and it's not, not too prominent in robot mode. Cool that I transformed it. I don't like the color of the wheels. It was the same gray plastic that his hands and waist are, which is fine. I think I'm just going to switch them out with probably crosshairs. It so reminds some me, black wheels. Does it, remind, it reminds me of that Lunar Rover from one of the movie lines. Probably Commodore from Dark of the Moon. It, yep, Commodore. But uh, me yeah, I I uh, I'm just impressed by the uh, the amount of remolding of the figure and the accessory. Like the accessories are just totally different. Um, I mean, so the the Ironhide figure, you know, it came with this like, you know, whatever murder axe like gun thing, um, and Ratchet, it, you know, it's like you know the medic kind of thing, um, and so. It has, uh, you know, this little, like, probe kind of thing that you can plug in uh, the weapons to it, um, and they come plugged in. Um, but then it also it kind of, like, has tools, like, so he has a wrench, and he has his little gun, and, and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, I, I just thought, it, it seems to me like it was very well thought out. I like to think of his gun whenever it's on the armature as like a uh, welder or like a like a mm -hmm. uh, medical laser of some sort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I yep, think that makes a lot of sense. Technically, I think doesn't he have like a third mode where it's like a repair bay kind of thing? I did I that actually. The one yeah. right here on the back oh, of I the did box. it. It is bad. Well, uh, I I did it also, but I made my own. If you uh, you can make it better. Okay. I'll, I'll share pics later on. but uh, Please do, because I did it right before the show, and I was like, wow, this is tragic. Yeah. Yeah, I basically, I think I flipped the torso the other direction and flipped the chest piece the other direction also, so it's like longer, mm -hmm. and you have kind of like an incline for the back of the bed. Oh, that sounds and then nice. And I put, I put his, little, his little leg flaps out. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to sh I'll have to share a picture to the to the group. Well, he does have some battle damage. Yeah, what do you think legs. about that? I think that I don't, like it looks weird stupid. looking. Yeah. yeah, I mean it looks like he just stepped in some mud. They should have yeah, made it did. like blue, so it looks like he's been walking through like puddles of robot blood. Jeez, that's graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Also, someone can definitely correct me on this, but I don't think we've been getting black crested ratchet recently. I think we've been doing red crested ratchet. Am I wrong on that? I can totally be wrong. It just seems like it's been a while. Yeah. Red, red crested ratchet. But yeah, like I feel like you know, like for you know, like same way on this guy here, where it's like, wow, the, what a the, flex, jeez. Um, it's like it doesn't actually need the. Um, the battle damage, you know what I mean? Like it just it kind of blends into it, and it it's like why why do you even need to like put that on there? But I feel like it's the same way with this guy. But um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I don't really see why you need it. I I feel yeah, like he's he's got the like regular silver ones on his feet, and those are like fine. I mean, I'd rather not have it. But then he's got these beige ones. That kind of blend into the white, which is like, like what Lucas said. Why? Why would you do it? Yeah, I mean, I a know. doctor walking around with all kind of mud on his shoes—that's not very sterile. So, that's I, bad I, on I, do robots have the same kind of sterility requirements that we? Yes, have? yes, they do. Like, I, I feel like all of the, um, like, I don't know. I mean, I still think this looks stupid because it's just on his feet. Like, I think for the most part, most of the silver battle damage has come across okay. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like it would be better without it. So. He really enjoys jumping in puddles. That's his pastime. Right. It says in the back of the box. Who, who doesn't love that? Apparently. Mm -hmm. 
the yeah, but the but the new uh, part of the trilogy, the second part of the trilogy looks great. There's no battle damage. Yeah. And we'll get his friend Wheeljack. Yes, that's the most important part. That and Cliff Jumper. I mean, I, so I go, still go grab really Ratchet. like. He's good. I still really like this mold. Like I. I don't know. I still feel like this is one of my, you know, Ratchet and Ironhide both. I feel like this is, these are one of my favorite molds that they've done. I don't know what you guys think. Like, I mean, how how do you like this compared to like the Thrilling 30 or the Combiner Wars? I mean, we've had this one. The one before this was the Combiner Wars Ratchet, right? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I mean, pull that one I mean, out. Custom class. And yeah, I mean, or there was. Or Takara. Yeah, you could have done what he funny, was. funny enough, like that this one is actually bigger than, than that one. Is that a red crest or a black crest? Uh the Takara one had a red or a black crest on his head. And the Bakan guide made the uh, red crest. That's what mine has. Yeah. And the ratchet before that was Prime series? Probably. Probably before the that. Be animated before uh, that. For universe. Oh, let's see, Prime. Yeah, yeah. that's Red Crest. The light piping is so good in the Prime series. Yeah. Yeah, no, Ooh. this is. Uh, I don't have a ton of Prime, um, but this is one of the few figures I actually have. So apparent, apparently, I collect ratchets. So. So as far as this mold goes, I do think it's one of the better deluxes we've gotten in Siege. Uh, as far as like versions of this mold, I think I will like Crosshairs the best. Yeah. Are we going to get a Snowcat? We're going to get Snowcat. It's going to be great. Uh, we're going to get the Black Snowcat at some point. Uh, I can't wait for someone else to come from this one. Who did I, I thought about it earlier. They're doing this crossover? I'll buy all the repaints of this. They're doing crossovers? No. Snowcat. Uh, snow, uh, from Energon. Oh. I was thinking the G.I. Joe snowcat vehicle. I mean, they you weren't far off because it is well, the I mean, G.I. Joe snowcat yeah, vehicle. Yeah, there it is. So, we so can this do is definitely crossover. happening. I, I feel like that has to happen, right? I mean, if you remove all the red, you've got... The snowcat, right? From Ratchet? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it needs a different head, though. Which, it could use the Crosshair's head if it had to. But yeah, I mean, I think the thing the thing I think is interesting, and I guess we didn't really show them off too much in vehicle mode, but like, the... I mean, if you look at the... Um, like the vehicle mode, like the front and the bumper, like they completely remolded that um, in there. So, I mean, I thought, I, I think they've really done a lot to make these unique. Um, the, um, I mean, Ironhide had this like clear chest silver interior and, and Ratchet has the blue chest. So I, I just, I don't know. They have the different blue chest decos. is pretty striking. I like it a lot. Yes. Yeah. Boom. I, I wish that they did more of that. Like, I almost kind of wish Prowl had that, you know, the, the you know, kind of blue on the car mode and whatnot, just because, just, I don't know, that looks so good. But, yeah. I can't remember I what else I came up with to repaint from this mold. Sorry, guys. I'm still recovering from the con. So... <laughs> Of the remold pieces, the front bumper, the shoulders to do a light bar, and what else has been remolded? Head. The legs were remolded, like at least the front pan the front panel of the legs. Yep. Are the feet um, different. No, I think the I believe the feet are the same. They're just paint like they're painted different. Like because on on Ironhide, like the feet aren't painted at all, but then they've got the red on the feet down here. Yeah. So that was different. Um, 
I mean, the heads are different, of course. Um, it was a trip. The arms are, couldn't say, of course, there. The arms are actually remolded too. You can see that there's a it's a different design. So yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's interesting, and I'm curious about these molds. Um, you know, what is the cost of you know re remolding these like? Because it seems like they've remolded stuff. Like, it really wouldn't have mattered if they had, like, just kept that molding the same on on some of those, right? So it's like, a, I, I wonder if their process now, it just isn't really that expensive. Like, if the expense is really in the engineering of the figure and that, you know, remolding doesn't, it isn't necessarily that costly. So I would imagine that's right. I think we saw that change when Titan's Return came around. Especially with like horse. a highbrow scourge and windblade, because yeah. those figures are not remolds, but they are the same engineering at the same time. So I have to imagine that you know they're just swapping pieces onto a frame at some point. Yeah, and I think I mean that was just in response to people where they were getting annoyed by straight repaints. Um, so I think that. This is, uh, you know, a cool way to do it. So, but we haven't got a lot of pre molds in Siege either. Like, you know, with uh, Titans Return, we always got like the alternate version first, and then who, who the character was supposed to be. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it seems like for, it seems like for the most part that the the odd duck characters that they're really just putting those out as either exclusives or selects and um then you know they're just really just pumping out main characters on uh on the main line which which i like i think it's it's great that they're doing that because it's like the crazy people like me you know we can get everything and and still get it pretty easily at least if you're in the u.s i will say i don't know uh for this ratchet figure I know that Walgreens has them, and um, in Canada, I think EB Games has them. But um, internationally, like, is he available at all yet? I haven't heard. Um, not, not that well, I know about. Probably just through the typical retailers, not yeah. brick and mortar. Yeah. So that's probably the only thing that's a bummer is, is that, you know, for our friends over in Europe, all this stuff is probably more of a pain in the neck to obtain so but hey, they, get, they get their exclusives that we can't get do you think yeah Who? most of g2 1.5 oh okay <laughs> or g1.5 <laughs> you you hey, got not in the your, modern day though you you got your exclusive like 30 years ago yeah 20 20 yeah. years ago whatever so, Snow Cat, make it. Paybacks suck. Please give it to me. But that would be re- that would be really cool, especially if you had like the tank tracks on the back. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Do a half track. Mm-hmm. So, I would buy it. Please make it Hasbro. <clears throat> oh, apparently Mike is saying that uh, that it was general retail in the Philippines at least. So, oh, that's good. But. So, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, overall, like, what would you say? Like, did, were you impressed with the figure? Do you like it, uh, Christian? I can't say I was impressed with it, but I like it. I get, you know, it's it did exactly what I expected it to do. It's a ratchet repaint of Ironhide. I thought they took it a step further. I mean, it's not drastic, but. I thought the armature and the and the wrench was a really cool touch. But yeah, I I wasn't it's not like my favorite figure ever, but I'm very glad that I found it and that's in my collection now. So Yeah. I I agree. And I think that, you know, for everyone that's complaining about the small figures in this line, like, you know, here's another example of a figure that's pretty big. Um, you know, it's a it's a big deluxe, so um, in Beast Wars, big, we had small deluxes and big deluxes. I mean, these are two deluxes. 
and he's actually a tad smaller. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's just, we've been there before as far yeah. as product cost and size. Right. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm at least happy that I can get a ratchet in this line and I don't have to get a Takara one. It cost me a bunch of money. Although the stupid Seacons, um, by the way, today it was yesterday the last day to order the last set of Seacons, or is it today? I think it's today. Yeah, so if you want some Seacons, you better go out and get them because at least from straight from Hasbro. Um, Do you but, guys see the screen? Yep. The it's like about Prime the same Deluxe size. Ratchet is actually smaller. It looks I mean, like it's, it's actually smaller. Yeah, it's it's yeah. definitely not as beefy, and I guarantee it probably weighs less. Yeah. I feel like the siege figures actually are a little more weighty. There's not a lot of noticeably a hollowness to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that uh, you know, I know that. Um, you know, it, like Impactor is another one too, where it's like it has hollow on the inside of the leg, but it still feels really solid in mm -hmm. hand. Um, and I know that's another one that I was like a lot more impressed with in hand than I was, um, you know, like looking at pictures and stuff. But I don't know. This one doesn't I mean, feel as solid as Impactor, but it's not far off. Right. I mean, it's got the hollow arm thing. Mm -hmm. The leg one is pretty well hidden, which is good. Um, of course, the chest, but that has to be there because that's how he transforms. The chest doesn't but bother the, me. I mean, the, the back of the, the back or whatever is a little bit hollow, but I mean, it's whatever. I mm. it's it's his back. It's not a huge deal. So, yeah. Uh, for the most part, Siege has their hollow bits uh, fairly well concealed. Like I said, this is this is pretty much the only egregious one that I can think of. But even that, it's like even that's not that bad. It's the underside of his arm too, so it's not it's not yeah. like it's you know that not a huge deal. Yeah. So. I've never thought the hollow thing was bad. Yeah. If they can take some of that budget and put it in a good paint for me, I'm okay. So Christian, would you recommend buying this? I would. Yeah. But for how much? Retail or above retail? Retail. Don't pay more. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be widely available at Walgreens. I, I wouldn't pay more. Wait wait until it actually shows up at your store. Or get it, it online. It's, it's, yeah. it's online now. So um, I think Walgreens yeah. does in-store pickup for free now, so check yeah. that out. Yeah, like every other Walgreens exclusive has been pretty readily available. After the fact. Yeah, as long as you're quick about it, you can't like wait several months. But as long as you're on top of it, you can get it pretty easily. I found a, a Rekgar or three Rekgars at a Walgreens out there uh, <laughs> near you. Like you can still get Rekgar. <laughs> I bought my Brainstorm a year and a half later. Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't a year and a half. It was a year later. And where I, the one where I bought, the store where I bought my Brainstorm I still had... I kept count for a while because I was really checking to get, uh, what was it, clones or? Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, I was trying to get the Wave 4, Croc and Cup and Perceptor and those guys. So I was mm -hmm. keeping track of what they had, and this store had like 12 brainstorms. Huh. They probably still have them now. Mm -hmm. If you're out in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, um, go, go check. There you go. Um, yeah, no, I, I would definitely highly recommend this. It's it's one of my favorite ratchets, so I I think it's a good figure. It's a good solid figure. So, uh, Sean, I guess you you say it's a recommend as well. Yeah, yep, definitely. If you're a ratchet fan, or if you're just a fan of a good transformer, I see no reason not to. Cool. Well, uh, I think we'll, uh, I believe we're having Ask My Wallet tomorrow night. I'll have to double check with Rob, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. So check that out uh, tomorrow night. 
and uh, we'll have our normal live uh, TFLP um, this week as well um, at uh, at noon on Sunday. Uh, you know, and along with uh, with cut the tape on on Friday. So uh, so check all out all of our uh, all of our content. We should have some pretty good TF Con halls this week. Um, or so Joplin to, to show up. Or or Joplin uh, halls. So yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. as we recover from you know be going to going to TF Con, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm going to go to sleep when we sign off. Yep. No, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to actually make it up this late. So, because I was, I, I'm hurting. It's close. I'm hurting. So, but, uh, but yeah, no, it, it was a lot of fun, but I'm tired now. So, um, all right. Well, I, I think that's it, I guess. So, um, yeah, and I guess if you like what we do, uh, consider supporting us on Patreon, patreon.com slash CFLP. You can uh, uh, tiers as low as a dollar. Um, and that's it. So I guess uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night on YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Good night.